Hello, so it's been a while since I actually posted an update. Uh, I just, I started school, I went back to school in January and I just haven't had the time to work on anything and I've been too lazy <laughs> to film, but I haven't really done much since the last update, but I did manage to finish the feather armband thing that she wears. Um, I'll insert a picture of what part of the costume I'm referring to. Here it is. I'm actually pretty proud of how it turned out. <laughs> Don't mind my water bottle makeshift stand thing. It fits really well. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so here it is. Let me give you a 360. And I actually just used craft foam to make this again, as with every other part of the costume, because I am cheap and it works pretty well. So <laughs> basically, Everything is made out of craft foam. This detailing here, I've already primed it with Mod Podge. I just, I think I want to add another little detail at the bottom there, and then I'll paint it. Another thing that I finished actually is the armband. I finally managed to do the jewels for it, so that's just that right there. This I think is just about done. I might do some weathering. I'm not sure yet. Don't don't mind the inside. It's it's. <laughs> nobody will see it so that's just what that looks like I'm gonna show you guys how I actually did this because when I first started I wasn't sure how I was gonna get like this shape where it's kind of like a feather and it has a little bit of indenting uh, I guess I wasn't sure how I was gonna do that but I actually managed to figure out with craft foam and it worked pretty well so I'm glad that that worked out Okay, so these are just the things, the tools that I used to actually make the feather headband. So I have some paper to make the pattern and what it's going to look like and kind of plan it out. Craft foam to trace the pattern onto. A dull exacto knife, you'll see why it has to be dull later on. <laughs> a sharpie and or a pen. And a candle, and that's just to heat the craft foam to get the shape that you want. Um, if you have a heat gun, you can use that. I don't own a heat gun. Again, I'm cheap. <laughs> I cosplay on a budget, so I just use a candle. And of course, please, if you're using a candle, be safe with it because it can be dangerous. And I'm an adult, so <laughs> I, I can safely use these things, I like to think. But yeah, so I'm just going to show you, since I already made the actual arm man, I'm just going to show you the process that I used to make it. And I basically used the same process for all the details on the armband so even like this part here just to get that kind of like 3d um, d uh, indenting effect or like bev beveled effect that's the word I'm looking for <laughs> but yeah I just use the same thing to get the beveled effect for all the pieces of this so I'm just gonna show you how I did that and I'm actually gonna show you by remaking this little tiny feather here so the first thing you want to do, obviously, is cut the pattern out of paper. As you can see, I already did that right here. We're going to be using this particular piece. So I'm just going to cut that off and then trace this onto the craft foam. So you just trace this on the craft. Now one thing you have to do is you want to trace out the general shape of the thing but you also want to trace out the part that you want to bevel. So for example for this piece this would be the general shape that I will outline but then we also want the middle part to bevel out. So you'll just draw a line of where you want that to bevel so when you're tracing it on and then you cut it out and then you'll use that guide after testing it on the paper you'll use that guide to sort of bevel it onto the craft foam so we have the general outline here and what we want is we want this craft foam to bevel out so it's going to have a, a 
bevel right down the middle which will make it look like sort of a metal feather kind of effect. So you'll take your paper that you already tested to see what, the, what you want the bevel to look like. And then you'll just put that on the back side of the craft foam. So you put the beveled part against the craft foam on the back. And then you can just take your pen and just trace over that sketch that you already made of where you want the bevel to be. Now when you do that, I don't know if you can see this, but there's sort of like a faint line and then after you'll just of course go in and actually trace over that with the pen. Now this is where the dull X-Acto knife comes in. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take the dull X-Acto knife and then just run it along that line that you made. What this is going to do, or what I found it did when I was making it, was it just made it easier to fold and it kind of defined where you want the bevel to be. So as you can see here, because I drew that line, because I kind of cut it out in the back a bit with the X-Acto knife, it kind of just made it a line that it will go along rather than kind of just folding it freehand. I'm sorry if the angle <laughs> keeps moving and whatnot. I just have to keep checking that the camera's actually recording because it has stopped on me a few times. So yeah, once you get this general shape, you can see it already has the sort of beveled look and the feather, the metal feather look. So this is where the heat comes in. So you're gonna take either your heat gun, or in my case, if you're cheap, a open flame. So I guess you could use a lighter. I like using candles, I just think it's safer. And I don't know, I just feel like it's easier to deal with because I don't have to sit there and hold the lighter while it's on. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your beveled piece and you're just kinda kinda like run it over the heat but only in the area, like try and focus the heat on the area where the actual um, line is or where the bevel is and then you're just going to hold it folded until it sort of cools down just so it keeps its shape. And as you can see that makes it hold the bevel a lot better. Of course, like once you let it go it will loosen a bit and you can kind of tweak it so it's not, so it's either more prominent or less prominent. That's the general gist, and then what you do is you just hot glue it on to the piece that you made. And when I hot glued it, I actually hot glued it so it was kind of like I didn't hot, don't hot glue it flat, but hot glue it so it's kind of like still in that shape. And then you can just prime it with maybe like four or more layers. I'm paranoid, so <laughs> I like to do a buttload of layers of Mod Podge, especially because it's just easy to do. It dries in 15 minutes, then you can, in your spare time, you can just kind of plop another layer on. But yeah, so that's what you'll get. And then the finished product will be something along the lines of this. And I did the same thing for this part too. I just kind of cut it in like a swirlier shape and then did the bevel line in a swirlier shape too, obviously. And then glued it on by like forming it into that shape to get it to stay that way. Yeah, I hope this video was interesting or helpful or something of that sort. <laughs> That's about it. I'll check in again soon hopefully. <laughs> I won't be like another month missing. But yeah, bye.